Hi there, Shelby Hodge here, Society and Lifestyle Editor for Paper City Magazine. And I have the great honor today of interviewing Sue Nobby, who is coming to us from London, where they're on lockdown as well as we're on lockdown. So this is a great opportunity to sit and have a chat about her incredible luxury lifestyle, vegan cosmetic and skincare firm, which she's just founded. Something very interesting before I talk to her personally, she was the CEO of Lancome and L'Oreal for many, many years and left them to go out and form her own cosmetics company, skincare company. So Sue, good morning, good afternoon, how are you? Good afternoon, good morning everyone, good morning, good morning Shelby, how are you? Very good, thank you, in the times of coronavirus. Uh, Absolutely. Good to <laughs> All at home. <laughs> right, right, exactly. So tell us how, when you started this uh, and why you started this uh, campaign for a uh, vegan-free uh, skincare line. So, um, you know, uh, I spent, you know, I'm an engineer. I'm a biochemist, an engineer. And I started at L'Oreal, you know, in the, in the 90s. Spent there 20 years where, as you said, I was the CEO of the two of the biggest brands of the company, which are Lancome and L'Oreal. And it was an amazing position to have a look at what was happening worldwide, you know, in Asia, in Europe, in America, everywhere in the world. And I was able to feel and see all this, you know, uh, new skin needs, people health needs, etc. And there was a thinking when I decided to create this line that there was a space for a high-end skincare line that would be, you know, the best of the best in terms of formulation, in terms of efficacy, in terms of sustainability, in terms of, you know, safety, and last but not least, in terms of, you know, ethical credentials. And this is where, you know, we decided, Nicola, uh, the co-founder of the company and myself, that if we created anything, be it skincare, makeup, fragrance, it had to be vegan. And let me maybe take a few seconds to explain what vegan means to people, because, you know, there are a lot of you know, people who think that vegan is just about having, you know, botanicals inside. Vegan is wider than this. Vegan means that you don't use any animal extract into your products. So you don't use anything that comes from, you know, uh, uh, cows, anything that comes from fishes, anything that comes from milk, whatever, etc. It also means that the products are not tested on animals. The products are cruelty free. And this, these are the two main senses of meaning vegan. Uh, so that's the reason why we thought that the new skincare line of today and tomorrow, or Vida, that we have created, could only be vegan and nothing else. So you started the research, you said, in, in 2013, and it took four years to get the right combinations. So how did that Absolutely. Yeah, it, it took us four years. Usually it takes six months to one year to create a skincare line, to be very transparent with you. But we really didn't want to do something quickly and something that would be you know, just the latest trend of the moment. We've been carefully thinking about what people are looking for and what they are going to look for for the next years, maybe decades. And we really understood that this was not doable in a few months or even in a year. We had to create formulation that can hold up to 15 times more actives than the traditional skincare formulations. Mm -hmm. One five, you know, this is huge. No laboratory is able to formulate at this level of actives. And at the same time, they are not able to give you so much actives without creating irritation on your skin. This was the first challenge. How can we do skincare that has highly concentrated levels of actives and at the same time suitable for the most sensitive skins? This took us four years. And the second thing is that a lot of things that are usually put into skincare have an animal origin. And this was a big discovery for me because I thought that just some actives, you know, sometimes it says contains beeswax or milk proteins or collagen coming from fishes, etc. But it goes much further than this. Sometimes fillers that are things that are into a formula that do not have an effect on the skin have an animal origin. And this was a big discovery. And a lot of laboratories didn't know how to formulate this kind of products without using this traditional animal origin you know, ingredients. And last but not least, we had in mind the idea to create a line that has clean formulations. Clean formulations means formulations that do not use actives, that may you know, have uh, irritation on the skin or have a kind of suspicion around them. So we've removed something like 1,500 ingredients that are usually used in skincare formulations, including you know, mineral oils, 
irritants, some preservatives that you can find across the whole you know, industry, etc. So if you really wanted to create something like this, it took us three years to make it happen. And then the last year was the year where we started to prepare anything around retail, marketing and product, etc. But we really spent most of the money and most of the time on creating the most efficient, most sustainable, and also most sa the safest formulations we could find on the market. Now, um, there's a lot of chemistry involved here. And you have an engineering yeah. degree. Now, how did the yeah. right brain get to the left brain and the left brain get to the right brain? These are two very I, I, different things. I, I, I use both. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you know, my father, my father was an engineer and my mother was an artist. So they really helped me to grow both at the same time. That's why, you know, I'm comfortable when it's, which, when it's about science and comfortable when it's about, you know, talking business and also comfortable when it's about cre the creative side of things. And this is very helpful especially when you when when i was the ceo of brands like lancome and l'oreal but also when i created my own line it was a fabulous you know mix of all these dimensions that we really wanted to create at that time right now i had the great good fortune of having one of your facials at the Celaya spa which is an offshoot oh, of the houstonian and it, i'm just going to tell you it was fabulous when i got home i said to my husband Look, I'm younger. I love it. I mean, truly, that, that is not just, but that is the absolute truth. I mean, um, I was thrilled with the results. And Celaya is the only outlet in the United States, the only spa that has this, correct? Now, what I want to know is how Celaya grabbed you. How did that happen? Oh, this, oh that's a very good question. And, and, and this is the human side of the history. All this is due to, you know, Rene, Rene Kassam, the, 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 you know, the, the director of all the spas, Trellis, but also Salaya um, Spa and Salon. Renee, I think she read an article about the line that was published in the Wall Street Journal, which yeah. happened you know, last summer, almost a year ago. And these people came to London and they spent the whole day you know, at the offices with myself and the team. We explained to them the line, etc. And I think she read this article and she really contacted somebody who contacted me, who ended up contacted me, contacting me. And you know what, what happened? One month later, I was in LA and she made a call to say, you know, why don't you take your plane and travel to Houston just for the day, which we did, you know, Nicola and myself, we went, you know, uh, in the plane, AM, very early in the morning. We spent the day with Renee, who showed us, you know, trellis, the project of the, uh, you know, the new trellis that they are going to reopen hopefully soon. And of course, the Solaya project. And we were super excited on both sides because, you know, new things were happening on both sides. And this is the way we decided that Solaya would be the first and only spa at the moment to have the Orvida line in, in North America, in fact. Now, what, what is, exactly is in the Orvida line? What products do you have? So we have 20 products. Oh, and gotcha. Solaya, I think they, they hold 14 of these products. So we have cleansers. All our cleansers are, you know, augmented with tools. These are, you know, kabuki brushes, as you can see. <laughs> These kabuki brushes is fabulous. And this is really the reason why uh, Rene and Christine from the team has decided to choose Orvida is because they love that every product is tool augmented. We strongly believe in the power of highly concentrated formulations, but at the same time of self-massage. Self-massage or massage that's done in a spa is maybe 50% of the results you will get. And this goes deep inside, you know, the muscle structure, the, uh, you know, the adipocytes, which are the fat cells, but also the fibroblasts that produce collagen and elastin to really increase and, you know, make sure you are pushing like crazy to regenerate the skin from deep inside, self-massage and highly concentrated formulations are, you know, necessary. So we have cleansers, we have a star product called the healing sap, this one is the star product of the line. This is the best-selling product. This one is a toner okay, that meets... Tell me what it is, the heating sock? The heating sock? The heating sap, sap, S-A-P. Like oh. a sap, you know, when you break a stem in two. Oh, and you right. smell it. It has the same smell and the same texture as the spa you could find, you know, if you break a stem in oh, two. Nice. And this one is super concentrated. It's going to be... Uh, it's your glow-activating daily shot. So this product is really something... We recommend on the face, on the neck, on the decolletage. And at the moment, I'm using it on my hands to fight, you know, the drying, you know, effect of, you know, hands cleansing 
and also the drying effect of hand sanitizers, which are necessary at the moment. The healing sap is fabulous to recreate your skin barriers that are necessary to avoid redness, to avoid dryness, and to avoid itchiness. And we have there, after that, we have you know, separate products like the prebiotic emulsion. This one is an emulsion that you layer on top of the healing sap, and this is a layer of prebiotics of your daily shot of prebiotics on the face. And after we have the Firm Brew Botanical Cream. This is a product that's you know, featured in one of our treatments at Solaya Spato, Glow is the New Lift. This one is about firming and making you know, the face features look sharper, etc. We have an eye product called the Eye Enveller. We have also serums. So it's really a comprehensive line that allow people to have a routine at their home but also that allow spas such as Solaya to be able to provide a routine from, you know, cleansing, serum, you know, skin balancing, skin firming, eyes on treatment, and skin sealing at the end of the treatment. So now, how much time are you spending working on this, uh, particularly in the COVID virus time? How much time did I want? Can you say it again? Spend on, uh, spend on uh, this, this uh, Orvita, uh, promoting uh, it, working it. This line, you mean at the moment, how much, yes. how much time am I working on the line at the moment? Yeah. I mean, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm continuing to work on the line, to be honest with you, because, you know, I've been discovering that uh, uh, some products of our line that we, at the big, very beginning, created to be pre and post procedure products mm -hmm. that could be used before and after you do a procedure, such as a peeling, a laser, even the lifting, you know, uh, mm. uh, we've created this mini line of four products with the help of a very famous French plastic surgeon called Dr. Patrick Bui. And I've discovered that this, this line, this mini line among our Orvida line is fabulous for those who are wearing, you know, protection masks during the whole day. Because right. when, you will, when we will hopefully get out of lockdown and get outside, you will have to wear masks for sure. Yes. And this mask, you know, they can really act like a mini peeling on your skin. They are going to compromise your skin barriers. They are going to make your skin red and inflamed. I've seen images of people, you know, uh, uh, doctors and nurses wearing this kind of mask the whole day. Their skin looked like burn almost. So this line made with the prebiotic emulsion, mm. you know, our overnight skin recovery mask, to name a few, are products that are fabulous to rebuild your skin barrier. You know, Orvida is all about strengthening rather than weakening the skin. And this is a big difference, you know. You've been asking me ago, uh, why is Orvida so unique? It's because we are the only brand that's about to strengthen your skin using prebiotics to strengthen your skin barriers, including what we call the microbiome, which is this healthy layer of tiny bacteria that are there to protect you against skin infections. And at the same time, we are there to protect and increase the skin defenses. So the, the line is all about increasing skin defenses, empowering skin immunity, and boosting skin self-healing powers. And this is perfectly in sync with unfortunately what's happening at the moment, which is, you know, this stress that makes our immunity lower, but also the wear of protection masks that are honestly a, a constant daily skin aggression. Does, does Celaya carry those? Do they have those uh, products? Absolutely. Yeah. Yes, they have the prebiotic emulsion, they have the overnight skin recovery mask, and they also have the eye better. And by the way, I'm going to show you something funny. This goes, see, this see. is something, this is a silicone, medical silicone rewashable therefore rewashable mask usually people buy sheet masks and sheet masks this is something i'm against because the line is really all about sustainability and we favor anything that's reusable rather than just recyclable everything is recyclable at orvida but we prefer things that are also reusable and this silicone rewashable mask you're going to use the prebiotic emulsion on your face once a week you put a thick layer and use the mask as a heating mask that's going to do like a kind of spa at home. I this love is also that. something that you'll be able to experience at Solaya. So this is really what we have been thinking about. How can we create a line that would be the best friend of facialists and therapists, but also your best friend at home in between two facials, for example. Yeah, I so this to... are... Yes? Sorry, another question. I had read that you were still working on a sunscreen 
uh, that because I've, I use the zinc oxide and of course it turns my skin white, it turns everything white. Have you been able to solve that yet? So in fact, we had a sunscreen that was ready to be honest with you at the beginning when we launched the line. And what we have seen is that, you know, the market was changing very quickly. People requests were changing very quickly. People, you know, to make it very simple, uh, sunscreens, you have two categories. You have chemical origin sunscreens and things that we call mineral origin sunscreens. Chemical sunscreens are big molecules that, that are going to penetrate into your skin. Sometimes they can penetrate deeper. Some studies from FDA in the US showed that these molecules can enter your bloodstream circulation. And, and, and therefore, even if there is no proof that they are harmful, to be honest with you, anything that goes into your bloodstream circulation, if you can avoid it, please avoid it. So we've decided that we're going to stop the project wait and see what's happening, what are the new sunscreens that are going to be put on the market, and mineral zinc, mainly zinc sunscreens, were starting to be formulated. And there was a know-how from the laboratories that needed to happen, you know, because the usual mineral zinc sunscreens make you look super white, you know, yes. there's going to be a white <laughs> cast on the skin. Right. So before doing this, we said, let's wait and work on a formula. It's almost ready to be honest with you. We are still fine tuning it. You know, we like to work like, you know, artisan. You know, I like to have a formula in my hands for one or two years just to make sure that it's safe on the long term, just to make sure that it's not going to mix the wrong way with other products. It's not going to noodle on your skin. If you use it and you go outside, you know, having some physical activities, is it going to get into your eyes and sting your eyes? So all these kind of things, I like to take time to check them to make sure it's 100% perfect. And hopefully we'll be able to launch this formulation that's going to be 100% mineral, 100% you know, activating skin, activating, activating skin glow, self-healing, activating also to be in sync with the rest of the line within one or two years, because as you can guess at the moment, everything has been stopped into laboratories. So it would take some time to be restarted, but this is for sure a key element of any you know, skin protection. Orida is all about screen protection, and we need to make sure we are protecting your skin on several layers, physical barrier, microbiome barrier, and SPF barrier. I feel like I've gotten a master's degree in skincare. That's fascinating. You I mean, you've got it all. You, it's so you interesting. That you have it on every level. Very interesting. Well, thank you so much for your time today, and I wish you uh, good health in the time of the COVID virus. Thank you very much, Shelby. Stay at home, everyone, and hope to see you soon. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.